Inside this truck lies a story Personal connection and family Inside lies a secret recipe With blood and sweat and tears Oh Lord, help me Food truckers. Food from a truck. Food truckers. Welcome to Food Truckers TV. I'm Chef Joe Arvin. Today we're in the Indiana Dunes out in northwest Indiana. Beachfront. We've got the Rolling Stone Baker out here doing some wood fired pizzas. So get ready and come with me. Let's get on the truck. We have met Andrea and we have met Jim. Yeah. What, what, what's, the, what's the truck about? Uh, so the truck is a combination of love between my husband and I, Jim. Um, love. love and passion between uh, food and uh, the vehicle itself, the Studebaker. How did you come up with this? Oh, it, it started out where Andrea and I were both unemployed, and our son was six months old. We had some money saved, and Andrea's like, "Let's buy one of these wood-fired ovens and do some farm markets and cater some parties and stuff." And you know, I like to look at vintage stuff on Craigslist. And I'm like, "Hey, there's this really cool Studebaker fire truck for sale in Minnesota. It's got 1,400 original miles." We should buy it, fix it up a little bit, and sell it here in South Bend because that's where Studebakers were made. And it's kind of, and she's like, we don't need no stinking truck. You know, we, <laughs> we should be starting a business. I'm like, yeah, but we could, you know, we were arguing back and forth. I said, you know, we could fix up the truck, make a little money, help with the business. And somehow in our go arounds, they wound up where we, we got both. Andrea thought of the name, which is kind of a play on a, on Studebaker. That script is kind of a lot like the, the original 1930 Studebaker script. And, okay. Uh, and we, and we like the Rolling Stones, and it's a stone baking stones. oven, so it's like three. Doesn't like the stones. What made you decide to go food, Andrew? Um, I've always had a passion for food growing up. Just out of high school, I opened up a restaurant in the Little nice. Cafe Bistro. How old, um, how old were you when I you did was 20. Um, 20 years old! Okay, I'm gonna go with a little ambition here. Uh, my partner uh, at the time hired Jim to come and play since he was a music. Hired this cat here, right? Yeah. Like was it love at first sight? I mean, did he walk in? You just went, oh, gee! <laughs> we food truckers, we travel on trucks. We see these big box trucks. You're working in a space that's so limited, you're like this. Right, right, yes. Coming in and watching you, at least you have some freedom in a small kind of way. But when you look back here, I look at the size of your three compartment sinks. <laughs> I look at the size uh, of your stone oven here. and. It's small, yeah. and you guys are, are yet somehow pulling this off. I got a mise en place box up here. I mean, this is all my prep. So he's got stations ready to go. We're ready to fire. We got a team of two. What do you do and what do you do to get this roll? The cook will start the fire and uh, the cook. So, so you just went like this. She's the cook. cook. And, <laughs> She's the and, cook. Uh, with a, the pizza olo. Uh, uh, uh. That uh, works the oven. She's firing it. You're firing the pizzas. And and I'm the maker, so I'm I'm doing prep and prepping it up. Guys, this is another key thing. They now have two trucks. They've been able to take their business to the next level. They've been able to put another truck on the road. And sometimes that's separating you. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, we come home missing each other. Yeah. Aww. And, and, and it's good because we don't argue over who's driving. Like something, what's the worst thing that happened to you because you're on the road and not in the kitchen? Uh, I, I would say the worst thing was the summer we blew three three engines in this truck. It was two days before Fourth of July, and I, I actually went and pulled a motor out of a buddy's boat. I would have pushed it if I had to, but we, we had to get started. <laughs> you meet people in this business because they have drive, and they have passion. You guys are working more than most. Right. You know, I, this ain't no easy gig. You you can't yeah. sit at home and send out a crew of guys to work this for you and expect to make to make a living. This is changing the oil, changing the spark plug, gassing up, yeah. filling up, getting your water tanks ready. Then you got to prep. You have to plan on waking up in the morning and in our case chopping the wood and 
It's it's hard not to have, not to have a good time and, be, yeah. and have fun, you know, because yeah. you, you yeah, everybody loves pizza. I want to be able to share the joy that's going to hit my palate. I already know these guys got it going on, so I'm going to find out the right way. What's your pizza? Ooh, I'm gonna go with the choke and shroom. Choke and shroom. Purple pig. And the purple pig. <laughs> purple pig and choke and shroom. Let's get on it. We're gonna start off again with a little bit of olive oil on the outside of the crust. This garlic has a light layer of roasted garlic. We would roast this in the oven to bring out the sweetness. It's nice and creamy mm. and add a nice base layer to the crust. Add some whipped ricotta. Add with a nice, ricotta, with ricotta. Yeah. nice layer of creaminess. Uh, then we take the artichoke parts and kind of break them up a little bit on the bottom. Yeah. These are wood roasted mushrooms, they're baby bella mushrooms with wood roast seasoning. The cheese one on top, and then a nice layer of uh, black apple pizza to bring out uh, some of the earthy undertones. That is a homemade tool right there. <laughs> Stoke the fire! I would recommend a little drizzle. You know, if it was me, I would do this too. <laughs> what is this? What is this? It's a gojiharu. It's a smoked uh, Korean Go chili. Goji who? Gojiharu. <laughs> gojiharu? <laughs> like a sweet, smoky chili. It's got okay. a little bit of heat to it, but really good flavor. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. The roasted garlic really did, really, really is the main player here. I think you got that choke though to loosen that up and that shroom on top. It's kind of, wow. Kind of like traveling to the Mediterranean a little bit. I mean, we got a Mediterranean thing going on here. Hmm. This is the purple pig. Some pulled pork that we, uh, that we we saw him pulled pork. Yeah, we, we smoked this with uh, oak and uh, some hickory and a little bit of cherry on a Texas style uh, competition smoker. Okay. And then it gets a little malt of sea salt, which will season the pork and give it a little bit of crunch. Maldon sea salt. Let me just say, you're not going to see that on many trucks. Thank you. Up, bring her in. So what are we talking? We've got the skin part on, so what are we talking? How many, how long? It's probably about a minute and a half to two minutes. A minute and a half to two minutes. Good. 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 The pork and the slaw and the cheese and the barbecue. I may have to quit. You must get down here and taste this yourself, because I can't even begin to tell you the textures and the layers of flavors inside this. We're starting off with the crispy crust, going into the barbecue with that pulled pork, and then getting the crunch from that slaw and that cabbage with a little bit of the cider in there. I'm, I'm just, I'm in awe. You can just stand here and eat this all day. <laughs> Let me tell you something, guys. You guys deserve a well, a well deserved handshake, but not, not because of what you do, not because of what you're doing, it's because of the heart and soul you're putting into it. And you see, you know, talking to you, you're bringing your garden, you're bringing your groceries, that, that right there says it all. You're doing, the, you're doing it the way it's supposed to be done. And it's not doing it because you have to, you know, you need to. Nice. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. part, it's nice. part of it. And I thank you guys, I really do. Thank you very much. Because anywhere they're at, you better follow them. Check them out. <laughs> The Rolling Stone Bakers put their life's investment into trucks, into having fun and being their own boss. Because behind it all, food truckers, TV, that's what it's all about. So we tell you the story, meet the people, and taste the food. Visit us at any time at foodtruckers.tv.